Coping and rebuilding after five years since Hurricane Maria hit the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico. And the new documentary series, Ruin and Resurrection, The Fury of Hurricane Maria is coming out. The Category 5 storm killed more than 3,000 people. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez joins us to talk more about the special. Good morning, Nicole. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. It's a very impactful and hard story to tell for so many who live in Puerto Rico who you'll meet in this story. It has been a very long road to recovery these last five years. And Nicole, this is so much more than a follow up story for you. What is your connection to Puerto Rico? I was actually born on the island and my family still lives there today. You know, my grandmother, my uncle were impacted by the storm, just like the millions of others who call Puerto Rico home. And it's been a very difficult time to watch not only my family, but really the entire island try so hard to move forward, but yet see so little progress. My family in particular was without power for 85 days following Hurricane Maria and now have seen the lasting impacts that still are changing their lives. And there are people today that are still struggling to access basic needs like clean water and power. Many who are trying to live in a better condition, rebuild their homes still to this day. The amount of homes that are still relying on blue tarps are still in the thousands across the island. So the impacts and the scars of that storm very much remain today. Nicole, why is it taking so long to rebuild Puerto Rico? This storm hit in 2017. It's been five long years, and there is a long list of factors that have really delayed the recovery. You know, we're talking about an island that sits a thousand miles away from the continental U.S. that is harder to get resources to in a timely manner. It's also more expensive, but they're also dealing with such a different infrastructure than we see across the United States and a dying power grid. There's also really the lasting impact of several other natural disasters that have hit the island since 2017. That includes landslides and earthquakes and, of course, the threat of worse hurricanes to come. And you'll really see the struggle and, and just all of that accumulated in this piece. And you'll meet some of these survivors and hear of their strength, their passion, their pride, what we call orgullo in Puerto Rico, that have truly you know, shown how much they're willing to do to try to create a better future for themselves. We know that Hurricane Maria was the third deadliest hurricane to hit the U.S. after Hurricanes Katrina and Harvey. Uh, we see the physical damage uh, from the images on television, but there is so much emotional damage as well. Um, let our viewers know where they can um, see the documentary series, your, your special this evening. Yes, it premieres tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Weather, which, of course, you can watch on YouTube TV, Fire TV, and, of course, on the Fox Weather app, which we really encourage you to download because it is a widely useful tool for so many major weather stories. It gives you our live radar. But again, we're going to have documentaries just like this for the foreseeable future and really stories that are important to share. Yeah, I'm going back there telling the stories, trying to... Uh Trying, trying, trying to let everybody else in the country know what's happening. Uh, Nicole Valdez with Fox Weather, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.